there are beautiful women, and then there is Monica Bellucci, a goddess among mere mortals. However, her stunning beauty was both a blessing and a curse. Because I'm pretty, everybody thinks I'm stupid, she once said. You see, her beauty often overshadowed her intellect, leading to frustration. She would fight to be recognized for more than just her appearance. Stay tuned to know the untold stories of Monica Bellucci. Born in 1964 in Citta del Castello, Italy, Monica was considered a miracle by her parents after years of infertility struggles. As a child, Monica was the quiet type. She preferred the company of her parents and the worlds she discovered in books to playing outside with other kids. This introverted nature shaped her early years, but it also laid the foundation for a remarkable transformation. You see, Monica initially set her sights on becoming a lawyer. She was drawn to the intellectual challenge and the opportunity to prove herself beyond her looks. However, fate had different plans for our Italian beauty. At 13, Monica's striking beauty caught the attention of a local photographer. This chance encounter opened the door to the world of modeling, a path that would eventually lead her far from the courtrooms she once dreamed of. But this wasn't an easy transition for the reserved Monica. The spotlight was a far cry from the solitude she cherished. Yet, as she dipped her toes into the modeling world, she discovered a new way to express herself. At 19, Monica made a decision that would change the course of her life. She packed her bags and headed to the fashion capital of Italy, Milan. This bold move paid off when she signed with Elite Model Management, one of the most prestigious agencies in the industry. However, this success came with its own set of challenges. Monica found herself torn between her intellectual aspirations and the opportunities presented by her blossoming modeling career. She once said, I'm an actress, but I'm also a model. I'm not ashamed of that, but sometimes people only see the model. Despite her internal struggles, Monica's fame continued to rise in the fashion world. She graced the covers of magazines and became the face of major brands like Dolce & Gabbana. Her striking looks and natural elegance made her a favorite among designers and photographers alike. But even as she conquered the fashion industry, Monica never lost sight of her desire for intellectual stimulation. She used her time between photo shoots to read voraciously, always seeking to expand her knowledge and understanding of the world. As Monica's prominence in the fashion industry grew, so did her ambitions. She began to see modeling not as an end in itself, but as a stepping stone to something greater. Little did she know, her next transformation was just around the corner. In 1991, Monica made her film debut in the Italian movie La Riffa. This marked the beginning of her transition from the world of high fashion to the silver screen. However, this wasn't an easy path to tread. Monica found herself at a crossroads, torn between the comfortable success of her modeling career and the uncertain terrain of acting. Her beauty, which had been her greatest asset in the fashion world, now became a double-edged sword. Many in the film industry were quick to dismiss her as just another pretty face trying to make it in movies. But Monica was determined to prove them wrong. In 1992, she landed a small role in Francis Ford Coppola's Bram Stoker's Dracula. This international production gave her a taste of Hollywood, but it also made her realize how much she had to learn. After filming wrapped, Monica made a decision that would shape the course of her career. She returned to Italy to take acting classes, driven by an insatiable desire to improve her craft. I craved it. I needed to act, she later revealed, showing her deep-seated passion for this new art form. Monica's determination paid off in 1996 when she landed her breakthrough role in the French film The Apartment. This wasn't just another pretty girl part. It was a complex, challenging role that allowed Monica to showcase her growing acting skills. Her performance caught the attention of critics and audiences alike, earning her a Caesar Award nomination for Most Promising Actress. This nomination was a turning point for Monica. It signaled her growing acceptance in the film industry and allowed her to start breaking free from the typecasting associated with her beauty. However, the journey was far from over. Monica continued to face skepticism and prejudice, with many still unable to see past her stunning looks. Undeterred, Monica sought out roles that would challenge her as an actress and force audiences to see beyond her physical appearance. She began to gravitate towards intense, complex characters that allowed her to explore the darker side of human nature. I like to explore the dark side of humanity, she once said, highlighting her commitment to pushing her boundaries as an actress. 
This approach led her to take on controversial and challenging roles in films like Irreversible and The Passion of the Christ. These performances were crucial in establishing Monica as a serious actress, capable of tackling difficult and emotionally demanding roles. Throughout this period, Monica's struggle wasn't just about proving herself to others, it was also about breaking free from the limitations she had placed on herself. She realized that her beauty had created a kind of mask, one that she needed to remove to truly connect with her audience. You have to show who you are to make the others come to discover you, she reflected, acknowledging the need to be vulnerable and authentic in her performances. As Monica continued to hone her craft and take on more challenging roles, she began to gain the respect and recognition she had long sought after. Her Caesar Award nomination was just the beginning. With each new performance, she chipped away at the preconceptions that had threatened to define her career. The turn of the millennium marked a pivotal moment in Monica Bellucci's career. She was no longer just a pretty face trying to make it in movies. She was a force to be reckoned with, taking on roles that would define her as a serious actress. In 2000, Monica starred in the Italian film Milena, a role that showcased her ability to portray complex characters. This performance caught the attention of Hollywood and soon she found herself in the blockbuster Matrix sequels in 2003. However, it was her role in the controversial film Irreversible in 2002 that truly tested her limits as an actress. Irreversible contained a graphic nine-minute rape scene that was emotionally taxing for Monica. She later reflected on this challenging experience, saying, In Irreversible, I used my body as an object, and it's great when you can treat your body like that because it's part of your work, an object you can work with. This statement revealed Monica's commitment to her craft and her willingness to push herself for the sake of art. But Monica's most iconic role during this period came in 2004 when she portrayed Mary Magdalene in Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ. This role was significant not just for its religious importance, but also for how it showcased Monica's range as an actress. She described her career as strong and deep, and expressed a universal respect for faith, stating, I respect and am interested in all religions. But while Monica's career was soaring, her personal life was going through its own dramatic arc. She had married French actor Vincent Castle in 1999 after meeting him on the set of The Apartment in 1996. Their relationship was as unconventional as it was passionate. Monica once said, For me, this is the only way to love. Love lives only when there is mutual respect and freedom. No one belongs to us, neither our husbands nor our children. This philosophy of independence defined their marriage. Both Monica and Vincent were fiercely autonomous, often living in separate countries due to their busy filming schedules. Monica reflected on their unique dynamic, saying, I'm so independent and he is so independent, so I think it is the only way to be together. However, this independence came at a cost. The couple faced challenges, particularly with Castle's jealousy and the strain of their demanding careers. Despite their strong bond, cracks began to appear in their relationship. The very qualities that had drawn them together, their fierce independence and dedication to their craft, were now pulling them apart. As Monica continued to take on challenging roles and push her boundaries as an actress, her personal life became increasingly complicated. The balancing act between her flourishing career and her struggling marriage became more difficult with each passing year. In 2003, after 14 years of marriage, Monica and Vincent announced their separation. The news shocked fans who had admired their seemingly perfect union. But for Monica, it was a difficult decision rooted in the same principles of independence and self-respect that had defined their relationship from the start. But as one chapter closed in Monica's personal life, another was about to open in her professional world. At 50, an age when many actresses find themselves overlooked, Monica was gearing up for a role that would make cinema history. How would she use this opportunity to challenge Hollywood's obsession with youth and redefine beauty on the big screen? Monica Bellucci's career was about to take an unexpected turn. In 2015, at the age of 50, she landed a role that would shake up Hollywood's long-standing norms. She was cast as Lucia Sciarra in the James Bond film Spectre, becoming the oldest Bond girl in the franchise's history. This wasn't just another role for Monica, it was a statement. At her first appearance in the film, she's introduced at her husband's funeral, dressed in high heels and a black veil. 
This image alone spoke volumes about her character's allure and strength. But more importantly, it challenged the industry's obsession with youth, especially when it came to female leads. Monica was well aware of the significance of her role. She even joked, I thought I was replacing Judy Dench, highlighting the unusual nature of casting a mature woman in a traditionally youth-oriented role. This wasn't just about being a Bond girl, it was about breaking barriers and redefining what it means to be a leading lady in Hollywood. But Monica's journey to redefine beauty and talent in Hollywood didn't start or end with Spectre. Throughout her career, she's actively sought roles that allow her to explore the darker sides of humanity. Her film choices often include complex characters and challenging narratives, proving that she's not afraid to push boundaries and take risks. Monica has always been vocal about the importance of being recognized for more than just her looks. She once said, When you are beautiful and you do something that is very strong, people say you are courageous, but they don't say you are good. This statement perfectly encapsulates her ongoing struggle to be appreciated for her talent rather than just her beauty. Her role in Spectre marked a strong return to the spotlight, but it was far from the end of Monica's evolution as an actress. In the years following, she continued to take on diverse and complex roles. In 2016, she starred in On the Milky Road, a film that further showcases her range as an actress. The following year, she participated in the revival of the cult classic TV series Twin Peaks, proving her ability to adapt to different mediums and genres. As she transitioned into her 50s, she was still at the top of her game in acting. But her divorce from Vincent Castle in 2013 marked a significant transition in her personal life. For the first time in decades, Monica found herself without a partner. For the first time in my life, I am alone, without a man by my side, she reflected. But rather than viewing this as a setback, she embraced her newfound independence. This resilience has been a defining factor in Monica's career. She consistently sought out roles that challenge her as an actress, refusing to be typecast or limited by her beauty. Her performance in Ville Marie 2015 earned her the Dublin Film Critics Circle Award for Best Actress, proving that her talent continues to evolve and impress. Throughout her career, Monica has been a source of inspiration for many. She's shown that it's possible to maintain passion and drive at any age. I think it's a beautiful example for children to show that you have a passion in life, she once said, emphasizing the importance of pursuing one's dreams relentlessly. In 2021, Monica received the David Special Award for Career Achievement at the 66th David Di Donatello Ceremony. This recognition speaks volumes about her impact on the entertainment industry and her ability to maintain relevance and respect as an actress. Perhaps most importantly, Monica has redefined what it means to age in the public eye. She's embraced her maturity with grace and confidence, challenging societal norms and expectations. Now I am older, they say you are good, she noted, highlighting how perceptions of her have evolved over time. Monica Bellucci consistently challenged stereotypes, refusing to be defined solely by her looks. Despite industry challenges, Monica's impact on cinema and culture is undeniable. She's tackled complex roles, explored the dark side of humanity, and even redefined what it means to be a leading lady in Hollywood. At 50, she became the oldest Bond girl, proving that talent and allure aren't bound by age. Monica's philosophy on aging is perhaps her most powerful legacy. It is not a matter of age, it is a matter of energy, she asserts. This attitude, coupled with her enduring passion for her craft, cements her status as a timeless icon in the world of cinema. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other videos of beautiful actresses from the yesteryears.